Hey guys, Dan here, and today I have like kind of a little another mod showcase for you guys. So um yeah, my last mod showcase, my first one was the level up mod, but um now this one is a different one, as you can probably already see what it is. Um it is the raised mini map mod. Now it is already updated for Minecraft 1.0, so um within like two days it's already been updated. So that's that's kind of a nice thing. So anyway, as you can see in the top right of my screen, I do have another a new mini map. So um. That's just, that's pretty cool, okay, like, whatever. But then, um, when you press M, it brings you into the menu. And then, so you can see, well, pretty much, first of all, it shows your coordinates and everything, and you can toggle that, and then when you first start off, it defaults, it says M menu is the M key, so you can press M. And now this is just what pops up, right, when you press M. You can enable it or disable it, so right off the bat, render type, you can do surface, you can do biome, so it's like a biome map, so you can see it's mostly desert, and there's some, like, like forest or something, I don't know. <laughs> temperature, you can show a cool little temperature map there. Humidity, that's interesting. Cave map, that's interesting too. Well, I just keep it on surface because that's kind of cool. You can enable your death point, so I guess it shows where you died. Um, and then update check, I have it to check for updates. Auto update check, I'll have it to enable. Update not found, so there is no update. Um, which makes sense since I just downloaded the newest version just a minute ago. So, um, so yeah, you can go into, then there's four other sub options. You can go into mini map options, map shape, you can go square or circle. Um, okay, that seems to be glitching for me right now, the circle. It worked on my other computer, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can do two styles, Ray's mini map or Zan's mini map. And if you guys had used Zan's mini map, which I used to, um, I, I like that style, but I mean, I kind of do like this new style, but for now I'm going to use, well, no, you know, let's stick with that. Um, you can do the position, you can do either of the four corners, you can make the opacity from 25, 50, 75, or 100, and then you can also have a large map for when you press another set key, um, and then, so that opacity, I normally like to keep it at 100, but, um, it won't show anything right now, since what it does is when you press the key, it brings it up to take up almost all your screen. Um, large map label. I just have to keep that disabled. Filtering. Filtering makes it more like exact. I like this one. It makes it look smoother when it's enabled. Show coordinates. I don't want to show the coordinates. Show menu key. I don't need the menu key. It's M. Pretty basic. Font scale. I'll just keep that auto. Default zoom. Just keep that. You can have different map types. They look ever so slightly different. Um, update frequency, just keep that in the middle, threading, I guess keep it, thread priority low, um, like, yeah, the basic settings, they work perfectly, it's only if you really know what you're doing, and you can tweak it, so then we have surface map options, you can go lighting, you can go dynamic, or always daytime, or always nighttime lighting, or just disable lighting altogether, I'm going to keep it dynamic, so that it will get darker as the night goes on, um, the lighting type, you can have two types of lighting, um, I seem to prefer type, whoa, let's go with type 2, type 2 looks cooler, drain, undulate, uh, that doesn't look very cool, let's keep it with enable, drain depth, I think we'll just keep that with enable, transparency, no that doesn't look good, makes water like all one solid color, um, environment color, I don't really seem to see all that much different, ex in the desert, except in the forest, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. Um, I'm going to disable that then. It looks kind of cooler. Emit height calculator, hide snow, you don't want that. Show chunk grid. You make it show the grid so that you can tell when you enter a new chunk or whatever. You can show slime chunks, so for where slimes can spawn. Um, and then, so yeah, that was the surface map options. You can go to entities radar. You can enable it so it'll show stuff like entities like... Um, like pigs, cows, mobs, pretty much. Um, you can enable or, or or you can yeah for multiplayer. You can turn on players, animals, monsters, slime, squids, other living things. I guess if you have mods, maybe that's what that means. Um, lightning, you can show that and then show direction. You can just have it so that it just shows circles or if it shows direction on the mobs themselves. I'm gonna disable entities radar. That seems kind of like too much cheating. Or you can go about mini map. Just kind of show stuff. And so, yeah, pretty much you can now go into your key configuration, and, um, it's just pretty much like a shortcut for anything. Like, you can toggle enable, like if I set that to P, 
And I just click OK. Exit menu. And if I press P, it'll toggle the map. You know what I mean? So when I press M, I can go to key configuration. I can just set that to nothing or none or I don't know. No, I don't want that to be spaced. Definitely not. Whatever. I'll keep that P. Um. Yeah. So then now C is the set waypoint, and toggle large map is X. So toggle large map is X. This is what it means by toggle large map. Yeah. Shows quite a big map, and I like this because it is nice and smooth, and it looks kind of nice. Um, it is actually super smooth. Um, oh, this looks interesting. Some terrain that we have down here. Can't quite see it. You only really see it in the big map for now. Um, so yeah, and then apparently C is set waypoint. So if I hit C, it'll I can name a waypoint, and I will name it Desert. And then it'll just show current coordinates, and then I can change the color to change the color to however I want. Let's make it like a red color, a nice red. So red is the desert. Okay, so now it shows up on my map to be red, and then you can see that little like diamond. Then when I approach it, it goes more transparent. So anyway, so yeah, um, it shows. It's a pretty good mod. Um. I kind of want to check out what all this stone stuff is over here. I'm pretty sure it's stone. This is a weird glitch that I've only seen lately. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's like intended or what, but kind of does weird stuff like this where in the desert it just kind of takes out a bunch of sand. Not sure if it's a glitch or what, but um, it's kind of interesting. Oh wow, it goes on for quite a bit. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, and then you can X toggles my large map. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's neat. And then as you can see, um, you can see my waypoint over there. And then like this, so I I see pumpkins right now on my map. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's some pumpkins surrounding by a tree. So let's just kind of start to head over there. For example, sake to just kind of prove that it works. But yeah, um, there they are. See, um, I am really enjoying this mod. I've been using it quite a bit. Um. The reason that I said I just downloaded it was because I went on my other computer to do my recording. But, um, so yeah, see, here they are. Just like it says in the map. But, um, so the map is not a lie. And then, so yeah, um, it's a pretty sweet mod. You guys can check it out. The link will be in the description. M is the menu key. You can pretty much do everything here. Waypoints, you can go to waypoints here. You can turn on and off certain waypoints. Like, as you can see over here, shows the desert waypoint is way over there. If I just turn it off really quick, then I can just go do other stuff, and then whenever I want to know how to get back to the desert, I can turn it back on. You change the color. So, yeah, I'll give you kind of, to make it like deserty. Yeah, cyan, that's pretty deserty right there, I have to admit. So, um, so yeah, you guys can check out this mod, the link will be in the description, and uh, I hope you guys check it out and you enjoy it. So, yeah, oh, oh, there's wolves, there's wolves, ah! Wolves. Hey, sure. Um. Yeah. So anyway. Uh. Thanks for watching. And wow, this is a large wolf pack, and they seem to have killed some sheep for me. Quite a few sheep. Four sheep. Um. So yeah. Um. Sorry for getting distracted there. But uh, anyway, yeah. Um. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys can go check out this mod. The link will be in the description for it. And um. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh. I guess I will see you guys later.